So, you're growing your business and making the world a better place. Well, that's just great. But hold on a second. What if you were overlooking up to half of your potential customers? Don't be too hard on yourself. Even the most beautiful unicorns do this. Consider Pinterest, whose valuation rose from 200 million in 2011 to 11 billion in 2015. Surely such a magical steed must have maximized its opportunities. Nope. Only 29% of Pinterest users were men in 2014. Anyone who has spent time on the site will not be surprised to learn that its search algorithms tended to favor traditionally feminine sensibilities. Only recently has Pinterest awakened to the vast pin potential of more gender-neutral engineering. Pinterest's growth is now being propelled in large part by recognition that men's needs and preferences can be different from women's. Gendered innovation is opening the way for something bigger, something better. More often, missed opportunities go the other way. When Apple released its health app, HealthKit, in 2014, it buzzed with all kinds of attractive metrics, recording blood pressure, daily steps and calories, blood alcohol content, of course, <laughs> body fat percentage, respiratory rate, even mineral consumption. But it left out women's menstrual cycles. Apple missed half of its potential market share right out of the gate. Apple corrected this problem and updated the app a year later, but what was the cost in terms of profit, poor publicity, and team morale? What if your company is designing a biometric wearable to detect early signs of heart disease? Great idea! But recognizing that men and women have different patterns of heart disease will make the product work for everyone, and potentially save more lives, you digital hero, you. Or let's consider gaming. EA Sports only recently decided to include women's soccer players and teams in its blockbuster FIFA 16. Soccer is among the most popular women's sports globally, with more than a million and a half female players in the U.S. alone. By appealing to women, EA Sports has massively expanded its customer base, just like that. What about hardware safety? Take automobiles, for example. All this talk about self-driving cars, and we can't even get the damn seatbelt right. Conventional seatbelts don't fit pregnant women properly, and motor vehicle crashes are a leading cause of fetal death. Gendered innovations have led to the development of pregnant crash test dummies that enhance safety in automobile design, finally keeping us all, even the smallest among us, safe. Bottom line, products that incorporate the smartest aspects of gender and meet the needs of diverse user groups can open new markets and enhance global competitiveness. This is Low Hanging Fruit. And to learn more about how innovators have already begun capitalizing, visit our website's list of case studies.